Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the 2021 induction ceremony of the Franklin Cachuto chapter of the National English Honor Society. First, let me thank parents, inductees, AV, our custodial staff, and members of the administration for being here tonight to celebrate excellence and achievement in English. I would like to begin our ceremony by welcoming Andrew Shea, our Public Relations Chair, to lead us all in the Pledge of Allegiance. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, with indivisible liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Andrew. Under normal circumstances, my role as chapter advisor allows me to work closely throughout the year with the NEHS board and members of the general membership on a variety of activities and events. And as I congratulate and welcome our newest inductees at our yearly induction ceremony, I proudly list all the wonderful things we did that year. This school year has been a little different. Honor societies and clubs throughout East Meadow High School have remained as active as possible while remaining safe and following protocols. We are a large honor society and tonight we welcome 93 new members. While this is certainly a point of pride for us, it has made gathering as we normally would impossible. However, just as we teachers have had to adjust our lessons and styles to meet the unique challenges and demands of this school year, students have had to adjust. I feel genuinely inspired by the enthusiasm and creativity of our board and by the participation of our general membership. All of them have been eager to contribute. Our board organized a virtual trivia contest on Kahoot and our members had fun competing against each other. To be honest, I wasn't sure how such an event would work with so many members, but our group came together and had a good time while showing off their knowledge of things they've read. It impressed me. All the students involved demonstrated an understanding of our unique circumstances and proved that resilience is a major part of who we are at East Meadow High School in general and in the National English Honor Society specifically. Of course, what we do is only a part of what defines the NEHS and its membership. It is who and what we are that also matters. At our core, we're an honor society that recognizes and celebrates excellence in our subject matter. A passion for and interest in literature, language, and writing. And it is all this which we are celebrating tonight. Upon reflection of what all this means, being honored for your work in language studies, whether in literary examination or fine writing, goes hand in hand with a responsibility to use one's abilities to shape a better world, to help others, to turn being honored into honoring a future rich with possibilities and a world laden with potential. Our national motto from Old English, de last scale mirare, was selected in part because it represents one of the earliest forms of the language we celebrate. And in even greater part because its meaning, duty goes with honor, represents the high calling to which each of us must respond. Just as being honored empowers us, so we empower others. Membership in the National English Honor Society implies that we accept the responsibility of sharing the best of language and literature with others. There is no fixed way of doing this. Each must find a way to share and to foster the rich use and enjoyment of our language. At this time, I would like to introduce our NEHS board. Haley Johnson, President. Carly Herman, Vice President. Andy Medina, Vice President. 
Shruti Patel, Secretary. Avi Upal, Treasurer. Avi is with us from home right now. Andrew Shea, Public Relations. And Emily Lamb, Activities Chair. At this time, I would like to welcome Haley Johnson, our President. Good evening. I would like to welcome all of our inductees into the fellowship of the National English Honor Society. May you find yourself, this chapter, and this school always responsive to the mission of the society. To confer national distinction upon secondary school students for high achievement in English language and literature, to provide, through local chapters, cultural stimulation in secondary school environments, to encourage interest in the English language arts, and to promote exemplary character and good fellowship, and to serve society by fostering literacy. As we get caught up in the flurry of tests, research papers, and presentations that we are assigned in English class, it becomes easy to lose sight of why we really take these classes. Oftentimes, we become so preoccupied with deadline after deadline, essay after essay, and book after book, that we focus more on a grade than a skill. Even I am guilty of that. However, I would like to use this time to speak with you all about the value modern English provides and why we should all appreciate it, even if that doesn't come so easily. The study of English language and literature allows us to connect with others, to clearly communicate our true emotions and feelings. I hope to become a teacher one day, and I know this will help me engage and connect with my students. The critical thinking skills we develop in our English classes will help us analyze complex situations, like a journalist investigating a corrupt politician or maybe a lawyer writing a legal brief on a significant social issue. No matter what you decide to do with your life, your English background will give you the tools you need to succeed on your journey. So before you pick up your next book with a sense of dread, like Babel, trust me juniors, you'll understand next year, or immediately question why your teacher wants you to read some dated passage by someone who's been dead for 200 years, take a step back. Relax, I guarantee that you become better readers and writers during your time at East Middle High School. Look how far you've come and how much further your English skills have yet to take you. Thank you and congratulations. Candidates, upon careful examination of your academic accomplishments in the field of English and recognition, sorry, and recognition of what you've already done and hopeful anticipation of what you will continue to do, I present to you this assembly of our chapter advisor, Mr. Ciroli, and to our chapter officers. At this point, I have the honor of bringing forth the word to you the membership of 93 candidates seeking membership in the Franklin Picciuto chapter of the National English Honor Society. When we call your name, please come forward to be recognized. Dariana Acosta, Hayden Edelman, Adam Axelrod, Sherlyn Alex, Jawad Ali, Noha Asad, Conrad Bajda, Sean Dalgan, Adriana Barbieri, Jake Barker, Sahas Bandera, Matthew Bonaventure, Lauren Canto, Kristen Cassidy, Samantha Castillo, JC Chaco, Jennifer Chan, Matthew Choi, Elizabeth Columbia, Isabella Conti, Michael Cunningham, Saliha Lemir. Arvin Apon, Sarah Eisenberg, Gabriella Escobar, Ashley Felder, Paige Gerwitz, Lucia Giblin, Krista Geek, Jeremy Goldstein, Samantha Goldstein, Sarah Goncalves. Oh. 
Elvia Gonzalez, Natalie Hernandez, Brian Jablonski, Daniel Jacoby, Michelle Dra, Janelle Flores, Joseph Kane, Levine Floor, Amna Khan, Samir Khan, Alexander Kimak, Catherine Levine, Kaylin Lim, Samantha Lowe, Sheila Lorenzen, Bobby Lund, Jordan Mason, Gianna Melanson, Chelsea Miao, Helen Munn, Syra Naeem, Nicholas O'Leary, Adriano Ocasio, Claire Owens, Julianne Park, John P. Patel, Stephanie Pincus, Catherine Ramirez, Anjali Ramcharuk, Lauren Rodriguez, and Sylvia Ramcharuk. Sarah Sedd, Jack Salerno, Elaine Sam, Brandon Sattler, Rebecca Sherry, Alexandra Schwartz, Willie Semra, Shivani Shah, Mohammed Sheikh, Ashby Shroham, Kimberly Smolin, Emily Soda, Nicholas Benato, Grace Benel, Patrick Spinola, Isabella Stein, Taylor Sweepus, Cassandra Stump, Melissa Sunny, Brian Sillis, Nadine Talib, Emma Thomas, Justin Torres, Arjuna Paul, Brandon Vasquez, Brandon Bonante, Aaron Wunderman, Nicholas Wong, Kimberly Zelaya, and Barry Zay. Congratulations. Persons of high scholarship in English are admitted to our fellowship. We join with others from across the country in celebration of all the fields of English and in acknowledging that a life in which literature and good writing are a significant part is a life worth living. As members of the Franklin Cachino chapter of the National English Honor Society, you join the company of colleagues who have preceded you. It is the first part of your ongoing legacy to the officers and members who shall follow in years to come. Now, to announce our junior representatives, I'd like to invite our Vice President, Carly Herman, to the podium. As many of you know, the board and I recently held interviews to find two junior representatives. After careful consideration and a very selective process, it is my honor to announce our 2021 National English Honor Society Junior Representatives, Kaylin Lynn and Samantha Goldstein. I am so excited to work alongside you both for the remainder of the school year and am delighted to personally welcome you to our board. This is a wonderful position to fill. You will represent the junior class in all of our discussions, bring new ideas and insight to our honor society, and be a part of a board passionate for literature and English language arts. As a whole, our board was struck by the dedication, diligence, enthusiasm, and academic excellence you both possess. However, what amazed me was your immense love for English, both inside and outside of the classroom. As our ceremony comes to a close, I want to congratulate Kaylin and Samantha once again and wish you both the best of luck as our newest National English Honor Society board members. 
And to close our ceremony, please join me in welcoming our Vice President, Andy Medina. In honor of your accomplishments and in anticipation of your bright future, I end this ceremony with these words by Emily Dickinson. Please commit them to yourself as you grow in our society, in our community, and in our mutual dedication to a life of others. We never know how high we are till we are called to rise. And then, if we are true to plan, our stature's touch the skies. You are now members in full standing in the Franklin Petruto chapter of the National English Honor Society. We welcome you into the fellowship of this chapter and to the larger fellowship of members throughout the country. Thank you all for attending and have a good evening. Now that our ceremony has come to a close, I was informed that we are allowed to take a picture on the stage. Uh, we will not be putting our arms around each other or anything like that, so make sure you keep a little bit of distance so the picture can be quick. And um, you're all welcome to come to the stage if you would like to participate in that. So come on up.